I haven't seen you in so long. I was worried. I made one of my pot roasts. I thought maybe you could warm it up if you were. I didn't make enough. Uh, Mama, we just we were just getting together. It, it ain't no big deal. Veronica, Jesse. Hi, Mama. Zach. Mrs. Lawrence. Um, you remember Matt and Josie, don't you, Mama? Oh, of course. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Lawrence. Uh, Reuben just got us together. Spare the moment, Mama. Spare the moment. That's why he borrowed my good tablecloth. Um, he wanted us to meet Tess. And I was so hoping to have a chance to meet you, Mrs. Lawrence. Reuben and I met Tess while we were in New York. Oh, when Reuben ran away. Yeah, Mama, that's right. It didn't take you long to figure that out now, did it? Tess is living in Bay City now, though, Mama. Yeah, she's administrating intern at the hospital where I work. Isn't that great? <laughs> Are you going out with my son? Oh, you would just love that, right? A, a lady like Tess and, and a nothing like me, uh, right, come Mama? Come on, Mama, there's plenty. Two different kinds of quiche, a nice big salad, French bread. Please stay. I'll make you a plate. Are you from New York, Miss? Oh, please, call me Tess. Actually, I'm from Baltimore. Uh, well, at least that's where I grew up, but my parents live in New York now. Oh, they must be pleased about your success. Well, I think my father's a little disappointed in me. He wanted me to go into banking. He did? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, wait till she hears this. Uh -huh. You give her a chance. President of the bank? Yeah. <laughs> and your mother? Well, she used to be a financial analyst, but she quit to raise her family. Oh, I used to work in a bank, too. Chicago Federal. Here we go. Here I think we go. my father was there for a while, but it was, a, it was a long time ago. I worked there for 27 years. Really? He must know you there. Mama, do we really have to talk about all this? I'm not ashamed to have swept floors or cleaned offices, and it wouldn't hurt you to do an honest day's work. Oh, you're just as supportive as ever, huh, Mama? You know, um, I just remembered I, I have to get up early tomorrow. I better go. It was nice to meet you. Enjoy the party. Mama. She's always been like that, always. Well, what are you waiting for? Dealer opens at 20. On a warm summer's evening. On a train. 20. What's the matter, too rich for your blood? A fool and her money. Okay, just you and me, baby. What's it gonna be? Shut up and give me three. Three cards, huh? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Thank you. Uno, dos, tres. And the dealer takes. Do you mind? Just looking out for the little lady, making sure you don't cheat. Well, thank you very much. I need all the help I can. Oh, please, give me a break. The dealer takes two. Drank down my last swallow. <laughs> then he bombed. Oh, uh, stop smiling, will you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try. Is this better? 50? Yeah. Well, that'll leave me on. You wanted to stay in, right? I'll see you 50. And I'll you raise you. Oh, come on, give it a go. Oh, all right. Kick it all in there. What was 40. that? 40? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you're 40. And I hope you have a good hand. Because I'm going to raise you. Two more hundred. Cass, I don't have any more money. Yeah, but you got something else. Oh, Cass, come on. You want those tickets for that square. <laughs> St. Martin, Jamaica, come on, let me right. take it. All right, go, all right, all right. What do you got? And every hand's a loser, and the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. Four nights? When he finished speaking, That's a he turned back pretty fair the hand there, Frank. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, and somewhere in a straight the flush. Still beats four of a kind! Yes! Yes! Thank you, everybody. You really did. Hey, man. I just ended, smart guy. Buzz off, pal. Straight flesh. Come on, you had that up your sleeve. Igor, sweetheart. As much as I hate to admit it, the jerk ate me fair and square. What are you, kinky for redheads or something? I just watch it. Sorry about that, Frankie. Oh, it's okay, Winthrop. 
Chess thinker. A couple of minutes ago, I was on my way to the Caribbean. Winthrop. You got a sister? Yeah, that's right. Her name's Stacy? Yeah, how did you know that? I saw it in the newspaper or something. Well, I'll tell her you were asking for her. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the dealing's done, you got Yeah, I want to leave a message for Stacy Winthrop. Tell her, tell her I think I'll wait and talk to her in person. Face to face. Aren't you cold? No. Well, you're dripping all over the place. I get the oddest feeling that you don't want me here. You want to get rid of me. Jake, would you please extend me the courtesy of putting on your clothes? Okay, Donna, whatever you want. Uh, Donna. What? While well, you're there, would you do me a favor? Yeah? Can you open that bank statement and see if there's been a large deposit? Sure. You see, I went to get, so, to get some cash from the money machine, and I just happened to notice that my balance had gone from a few hundred bucks to over 20,000. OK. Uh, you know, that happens a lot of times. Banks make errors like that. It's constantly happening with me and Michael. Just check, will you? Yeah, OK. I can't find a bank statement. There's uh, there's not one here. That's odd. It was right there on the table a minute ago. Well, not here now. Mm. Just wanted to get some. Give it to me, Donna. Why should I give you my purse? <laughs> Donna, this is your moment of truth. Oh, Jay, don't be so melodramatic. What do you mean? We're talking about $25,000. But then again, you know there's a deposit like that on the bank statement, don't you? I most certainly do You know not. there's a deposit, Donna, because you put it there. What are you trying to do, set me up? Hmm? I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I told your friend I was a cleaning woman. Mormon. Do you think that's why I get mad? I don't know why you do a lot of things, Reuben. Mom, it's just when you say things. Like how you used to scrub floors where her father used to be the vice president. Mom, I feel like... I feel like you think you're better than Tessa's because she was born with money. Or maybe you're better than me sometimes because I want things. I don't think I'm better than anybody. Mom, why don't you get mad at me? I don't understand. When I screw up, Mom, you don't get mad. You, you just give me, you just give me that look. Well, what look? The disappointed look, Mom. Hurt look. Like, like those pictures I used to see of Jesus when I was a kid in Sunday school. I feel sometimes like, like you think I'm going to fail you again. Do I do that? Yes, Mom, you do. You do that. All right. I'll get angry if that's what you want. Why didn't you invite me tonight? Because I didn't want you to be there. Your own mother? Mom, Tess means a lot to me, OK? I didn't want her to see you giving me that look. You know. You were always your father's favorite. He used to say, even when you were just a little thing, look at Reuben. He has so much pride. He, he just breaks my heart. I never meant to take your pride from you, son. And if I did, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry too. I hope this girl makes you happy. Happier than I have. I can forget about that now. 
a jerk. Fills himself up by tearing his own mother down. Maybe he had to do that. So make his mother see the light. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know about you, but I'm going to a party. <laughs> what are you doing the rest of your life? Not the south and east, the rest of your life. I have only one request. One more. Is it cool? No, no, no. Something's bothering you. And it's not Lucas, and it's not what happened to Catherine. What is it? Does it have to do with Caroline? No, uh, it's me. You? Yeah, there are a few things you want to know about me. Okay. But not here. It's, uh, someplace else, okay? She sounds serious. It is. Okay, let's go. All begin and end with me. Jake, you've obviously lost your mind. Why on earth would I want to put any money into your... Give me that. Uh, Jake, give me that back. Jake, let me Here it is. My purse. The bank statement. Jake. And look, $25,000. And Donna, it was deposited the day after the very same amount of money was stolen from this loft. I don't know now, what you're talking about. Is that a coincidence about. I don't know what you're what? talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Jake. What was the ultimate plan, Donna? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you gonna try to frame me for embezzling or something? You, you've misunderstood this whole thing. I want to know the truth. Now. Jake, you, you, you just mis you misunderstood it. Oh, here we go. Jake, out. Jake, get now. off. Get the off truth. of me. Jake, get off of me. Here we go. Jake, Jake. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll, all right. You did it. Jake. Donna, you stole your own money and then you deposited it in my bank account. I wasn't going to have you arrested, Jake. Oh, what were you going to do? Oh, I, I was just going to teach you a lesson. I can't breathe. <laughs> just teach you a lesson. That's all. I promise, You were going to teach me a lesson? Yes, I swear. That's great. I like that. I swear. Oh, oh gosh. Stop. Jake, put me down. Jake, don't. Donna. Jake, put me down. Donna. Jake, put me down. Donna. Jake, put I'm not going to do anything dirty. Please. Just put me down. As a matter of fact, it's going to be on the contrary. Put me down. Jake, what are you doing? <laughs>